This is an original Ford GT. I will try to get some more details on this. But look at that. like uh, that is Gary Patterson, president of Shelby American, behind the wheel. They're going to roll this in and put it in the museum here. Look at that. Sorry, guys, I'm jumping in here. No kidding, man. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. We got. Uh, Where do we put our hands, about guys? four people. Uh, I would say probably right here. Push right like that. Four people that want to help push us in. I'm meeting you, so I can't call. <laughs> Right 
stop, straighten, back, back three. Good. I don't think you want to do that. Do you want it farther back, uh, Gary? Right. So we have uh, kind of a special treat here. We've got Gary Patterson, the president of Shelby American, and this. So, <laughs> Gary, thank you for the time. Hey, tell Brian. Us, tell us what this is. Well, this is a real GT40 from the 60s. It's 1012. Mm -hmm. So they all start with a one, mm -hmm. zero, and then. So this is 12. Uh, I need to look up what the race history was on this car, but I'm yeah. sure it was there. It's got a Goodwood sticker on it from 2005. We just pushed it in. It's going to be a part of the uh, Heritage Center uh, at the at Shelby's headquarters, right. uh, at least for probably the next month or two. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. We'll have it on display. It's got a bad boy, 427 with two four barrels. Check this thing out in the back, right? Which we'll, we'll uh, open the bonnet maybe and uh, and take that thing and, and take a peek at it. But this thing was always cool. Pull the pin. Let's see if it's in the See if we can pull this pin, and you got the sides, right? Yeah, maybe they got it locked. I don't know. And he's got it locked up. So. Oh, there it goes. Um. Okay, you ready? I don't know how it goes. Okay, hold on. Got to oh, be real just careful. Clip that down there. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do is be real careful. And then you're gonna pick this up. Down okay? Here. Like this, okay? Okay, nice and slow. Okay. Nice cable for display so it doesn't hit the back. And it Are should be there. Right there. Perfect. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Check out this dry sump oil system, the bundle of snakes exhaust. These cars would hit, you know, 230 plus on the straightway at, uh, in Mulsane back in the 60s. So that was just amazing for something that's. Uh, well, know. that's incredible technology for that time period. We got to remember it was almost 60 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And part of the reason that this is such a iconic car was not only did it take Ferrari off the podium, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and they were so far ahead they could slow down at the end and put everybody together. Because yeah. Ken Miles um, really did, he was way, way, way out in front of everybody. Yeah. So um, this car was just that much of a dominant force. But when you think about it, 50 years before this car, was built, you're still driving a Model T. Huh, so exactly. So look at where we were with a Model T, look at where this thing is, mm -hmm. and then look where we are today with racing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But this is just proof positive, stay on top of your game, keep on moving forward, mm -hmm. look into the future. Mm -hmm. And as a driver, I always look at it as I'm looking out the windshield, right? Yeah. The rear view mirror is important, <laughs> right? But it's behind you. What behind you is important, you can learn from it, mm -hmm. pay attention to it, but it shouldn't dominate your life for the rest of your life. 
you better be looking out the windshield. Preach it's it, brother. It's much bigger. Preach it, brother. Right? It's much bigger. <laughs> yeah. That's where your future is. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Gary, this is a, this is a very special treat. Yeah. Uh, really appreciate your time to, to show us this car. And hey, everybody, come on down to the Shelby Heritage Center here in Las Vegas and take a look at this thing in person. It's a stunner. Thanks a lot, Gary. Yep, thanks.